So you've written a .NET Windows Forms application and now you want to handle multiple key combinations such as Control Z or Control Up Arrow. How do you do that? I'll show you everything you need to know in this video. I'm Hugh and this is another lesson in my series on programming a desktop application launcher in C Sharp. In fact, in this lesson, I'll show you a general way of handling control key combinations where you hold down control and then press some other key. Now, if you aren't familiar with handling key events, I'd suggest that you watch my last video about handling the delete key before you watch this one. And if you want to follow my entire series on programming an application launchpad, click the link to the playlist, which is under this video. So here I've wanted to add three special key combinations. So let's look at one. So previously I've shown how to delete uh, an item. So here I deleted this. What if I want to undelete it? I want to add it back. I'm going to press Control Z and there right at the end of the list is the item that I previously deleted. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to move these items around using Control Up Arrow and Control Down Arrow. So here I'll press Control Up Arrow. And you can see it moves up the list until it gets to the top, then it doesn't do anything. And if I want to move it down, same thing until I get to the bottom. So that's control up arrow and control down arrow. Again, all this is done by responding to keyboard events. I've shown how to use simple keys like delete in my last video. Well, here I'm responding to key up by, here's my delete. Uh, event here, as you can see, I'm responding to key up now in a slightly more complicated way by processing a variety of different keys. So let's have a look first of all at Control Z. So as before, when I responded to the delete key, I can respond to the Z key by looking in the keys enum and comparing it with key code. If e dot key code equals keys.z, but I want only to respond to control z. So I've also had to add this and control.modifier keys uh, equals double equals keys.control. So that's how I've tested for uh, the keys control plus the keys.z, that is control z. And in that case, I just undelete. I add the deleted path back to the list. How do I get that? Well, this time when I call the delete key, I add its text to a string. It's a global string, just I call deleted list view path. And when I press control Z, I just add back that string and then reset it to an empty string. Control up arrow and control down arrow. Let's have a look at those. So here again, I get the up and the down using the keys enum, and then I call control dot modifier keys equals, or I rather I test that uh, to see if the control key is being held down. So it's again, it's a similar sort of procedure to handling control Z. And this time I just get the index of the item, the selected item, and if the item index here, I'm handling control up. If the item index is greater than zero, that is if it's a valid index, then I remove it. And then I insert the item that I removed at an index one less than it was previously. That moves it up the list. Control down is pretty much the same thing, except I just insert it at an index that was one higher than its previous position. That again has the position of moving it down the list. One complication here, because .NET forms uh, handle arrows themselves, I I can end up sort of mess, getting my code messed up by having the default behavior uh, mess around with my rewritten behavior. What do I need to do on that? Well, I need to set up another keystroke handler. It's the key down key. So when the key down event fires, I just mark the event as handled. So if the keys up, uh, if control key up is pressed, E dot handled equals true. And if control key down is pressed, E dot handled equals true. That kind of mops up the, the, the default behavior. It stops the uh, default uh, movement occurring, which would mess up my code. And that's pretty much it. So there you go. That's how to handle control key combinations. 
To make sure you never miss one of my videos, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new lesson. And I'll be back with more lessons soon.